Testament. When you read the Old Testament, did the children of Israel go into slavery? Did some of them go into slavery? Or did yeah. all of them go into slavery? All of them. They ain't went into slavery, right? Yeah. So the Most High judges as a nation. So you can't, you can't get out of your judgment. Your forefathers, if you dare, your forefathers enslaved people under the name of Jesus Christ. They had to pay a judgment. You are their descendants, you are here. And you still reap from that system. So if you are, you gotta pay a judgment. Now, that's not the end. The end of the whole deal is after you pay your judgment, right. then you get to live on the earth in peace. That's why these people are special. Because they're the chosen people. They're going to minister to all the nations in peace. Yeah. Now, you must go through your judgment first, just like we went through our judgment. We went through slavery. 400 plus years, we still yeah. in slavery. Over and over and over. Hey, people. And we, could not, we could not escape that. Yeah. Now, God sent his son, Jesus, so that we would be saved for you guys too. Because without the children of Israel being saved, right. you won't have no peace. All right? So you got to stop trying to fight in it. So I'm going to be destroyed. Yeah, eventually you're going to have to go into slavery. You got to pay for what your forefathers did and what you're oh, reaping yeah. and the benefits that you're getting now. But at the end of that punishment, you get to live in the kingdom in peace. Right. Not in wars and dropping bombs and getting arrested and all these stupid ass laws they got. You don't have to live under that regime no more. So stop trying to fight what we're telling you. We're telling yeah, you the truth out of the Bible. So I'm just gonna have to just go through this slavery. Yeah, we went, that, we went through it. I mean, you personally did. Well, I did go through it. I'm still in it right now. Okay. If we go down the street, the police get behind you, he ain't gonna pull you over. He get behind you, behind me, he gonna pull me over. Yeah. I've had guns put to my face by the police. You have? Yes. Too. I have too. That's right. So we still go through it. Yeah. But this is our punishment. I mean, do you think that's because, like, of their acts? Like, of who acts? That's completely of the, the police acts. It's because of the system, man. Because of the whole system. He's still system. going on individual. Let me do the wrong chapter 28. I mean, and, then, and then I'm going to ask you this. When a baby was born, okay, back when we were in slavery, when our, when our forefathers were in slavery, could a baby go to the master and say, I don't want to be a slave? And the master said, okay, but could, 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 could he do that? No. No. Right? He had to serve by his judgment. Uh, this is to go back to what he said about um, us being saved for you guys. This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. It says when... Deuteronomy 28. 28, 16. I mean, it's 28, 16. Can I get this real quick? I'll back you up. It's Proverbs 29 and 2 says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And right now, Israel, my fault. When Israel comes into authority, you're going to learn the scriptures the right way. You're going to learn of the Most High. It ain't going to be no more wars. You know why? Because the earth is going to be governed by the Most High's chosen people. Oh, yes, sir. But you do got to pay your judgment, just like we paid our judgment. The reason we went in, the reason the transatlantic slave trade happened, because we <laughs> broke the laws of the Most High. So we had to pay for it. And our payment was that slavery and what we're going through now. That's why we preach the salvation to these people. Because they got to be saved in order for you you guys, the other nations, to have some type of peace. Because y'all not doing it. Y'all, the people that's ruling now, are not doing it. You had the Roman Empire. You had the Greek Empire. You had America. You got Russia. You had the, all of these empires that were ruled by so-called Caucasians and destroyed the earth with no peace. So you got your time. The Most High gave every nation the time to rule. That time is up. It's time for Israel to rule. Y'all even went as far as trying to send nuclear bombs to the moon. This, this is um, this is Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse. Hold on, chapter ten, verse one. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is? Such are all they that the world are in. An unwise king destroyed his people. But now listen, read that again. A unwise king destroyed his people. Y'all know who the Rothschilds are? The banking families? The elites of the society? Those are your people. They look the same as y'all. They got y'all in slavery. Y'all in slavery right now. You in slavery. We all in slavery right now, yeah. 
Wait. By the Rothschilds. Yo, that's who's in, that's who has you in slavery. I have a question. So um you're talking about Revelation, the new heaven, new earth, right? Right. And so can only the twelve tribes go to the new earth? Or anyone? Else, Everybody's right? gonna be all the nations are gonna be in the kingdom of heaven. You're not gonna be in our kingdom, in our land, per se, in our gates, but you're gonna be on the earth. The whole earth is gonna be the kingdom of heaven. Okay. It's because y'all believe so, that heaven and earth are places that you go to after you die. When you understand that heaven and earth are conditions played out on earth, our heaven is going to be your hell. The same way Egypt's heaven was our hell. America's heaven is our hell. We built all these nations through what? Slavery or whips across our backs. While what, the, what was the white man doing on his porch? Drinking sipping lemonade. He was in heaven. While we were in the cotton fields in hell. The good thing for y'all is that we got laws and we're not going to do that how y'all did us. Well, go ahead. So, um, when we're reading uh, John 3.16, um, and so, whoever believes in him shall not perish back to her life in Christ Jesus our Lord, right? Um, Rom 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 Romans 9. So, then we flip forward to Romans 1.16, that's Paul talking, it says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God that brings salvation to anyone who believes, first the Jew, then the Gentile. So, the Gentile isn't part of the 12 tribes, right? Yeah, Romans But chapter they can nine. still get salvation. Right. So they're, they're good, right? You're correct. Okay. But you don't understand who the Gentiles are. That's the okay. problem right that there. Right. Disconnect. Okay. And then, I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you why. Hold on, wait. But you were saying like, only the 12 tribes of Israel get salvation. So then how can there are, Gentiles, I'm, who you said are right, the tribes of Israel, you're right. going to explain it's it. You're going to explain it right it's now. Very it's, it's very easy. It's very easy. Let him talk, man. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. You had, look, he's asking his questions now. It's cutting you, man. It's cutting you, man. Just read it, man. Listen, this is Romans. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also what's, bearing what's, me witness in the Holy Romans? Ghost. Hold up, who's speaking? What's that speaking? Yeah. That's um, Paul. Okay, God. Right. Let's we'll start again. Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish that myself were a curse from Christ. For my brethren and my kinsmen, according to the flesh, okay? Who are Israelites, whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, Psalms chapter 147, verse 19, and the service of God, and the promises, Service of God. Whose are the fathers and of whom concerning the flesh Christ came. So Christ came in the flesh mm -hmm. for the Israelites. Now one more thing, wait, because I want to deal with the Gentile thing. Read, no, no, hold on, hold on. Read verse 23. God. Matter of fact, start at verse 24. All right, this is Romans chapter 9, verse 24. Even us whom he hath called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles? The Gentiles, right? That's the question. So the other nations, right? Okay, keep going. Verse 25. As he saith it also in O.C. Now what book is that? Because now Paul is referencing 